I did pick up the entire set. The colors on here are just absolutely perfect for the spring. I wasn't expecting to buy as much as I have. I absolutely love, love, love an adorable little arrangement. The last two items are clearance furniture. Hello everyone, what is up and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Katie. I live in Orlando and I make all shopping and shop with me videos, home decor and home decorating videos. I love to shop around all my favorite stores like Target, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Walmart, Kirkland's, Hobby Lobby, stores like that to show you what is new and what you can potentially find at a store near you. Today I am back with a or an unplanned, I should say, Target home decor haul. I really, really, really love the new home decor collections from both Studio McGee and Hearth and Hand. I wasn't expecting to buy as much as I have. Typically when I'm filming, I don't shop too much. I like to go and shop on my own time when I'm not filming because I feel like I'm very concentrated on filming when I am in the stores making my videos. So I did make a couple trips back to Target over the last couple days and accumulated quite a decent pile at my feet of new home decor items from both of the new collections. I am super excited about everything I got. I can't wait to put it out in our home and kind of have some new fresh items for spring. Once I went ahead and took down all of the Christmas items, our house just felt kind of naked. And to be fair, I haven't put back any of our old stuff yet, but I knew I needed some new throw pillows for the couch and a couple other new home accents just to freshen things up. We also are planning to move in the next couple months. So I'm really looking forward to that. So in this video, I have home decor items from the two new collections as well as some furniture clearance finds that I want to share with you that I purchased over the last week or so. Maybe you can still find them at a store near you, so I wanted to go ahead and share them with you. We're gonna go ahead and get into the haul, but please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. You can also hit the notification bell if you wanna be notified every single time I post a new video on Monday, Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday of every single week. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button to help me reach my subscriber goals. All right, let's go ahead and get into the haul. You're gonna notice it's a lot of neutrals, so I guess I'm matching the vibe today. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start grabbing things at my feet. I'm not really gonna go by a specific collection. I'm gonna grab stuff and everything will be linked down below if you are interested in it. But the first thing right at my feet is this new plant. This was new out at my store. I like the two-toned pot. It might be a little bit difficult for that to show up, but it's more ivory colored down here. Um, and then this like really nice like speckled texture up at the top. It is I believe a faux magnolia plant or it says rubber leaf. This was $45 and I really really love it. Leave a guess down below where you think this is going. With plants like this a lot of you guys tend to guess correctly but leave a guess down below where you think this plant is going if you have seen some of my other home decor videos or some of my decorate with me videos. Let me know where you think that's going and that is hearth and hand by the way. I actually wanted to show you, I just love like the coloration in the leaves. They're all like a little bit different and they have some really nice like color to them. I also really like the dirt in the pot. You guys know that I much prefer like dirt potted plants over like rocks or anything like that at the bottom. So I was a huge fan of this and I think it's a great price. I also want to go ahead and mention if you notice a little bit of movement over here in the mirror, that is one of our dogs. That is Wyatt. He did hurt his foot. I think we were, we were playing in the sand. We went on a nice long walk and he always tends to pull a muscle so he's just kind of chilling out over here so if you see a little bit of movement that's who that is I do have three dogs if you're new here and you didn't know and they're literally the light of my life okay moving on I'm gonna grab another actually hearth and hand item so this is not new but I did purchase it so I wanted to show you anyways you can still find it at your stores and get it online and it is this big white vase I love the like texture on it this was $30 from hearth and hand and it's called it's they call it a bud vase which I just thought was so funny because I should pull out a different bud vase hang on one second bud vase bud vase <laughs> but yeah so this was $30 I really really love it we have a set of shelves you will definitely see me decorating with this and we needed some taller items for the top and I just love it I think it's super neutral and it will look pretty in so many different areas of our house so I decided to finally bite the bullet and pick this up because I've been eyeing it for a really long time and today I was like mm, I guess I'm just gonna go off so I picked up all the things that I've been wanting most of them are super new items but this is the one item that's not 
from this new collection, but you can still get it in your stores, and I wanted to show it to you. Next up from Studio McGee, we have this. So this is actually a planter. She has a whole line. I showed all the vases and everything in my most recent Target Tuesday video, so if you missed it, I'll have it linked down below if you're interested. Actually, it was my Target Monday video, but I'll have it linked down below all of my new Target videos if you're interested in seeing more of the items from this line. So this is technically a planter, but it's basically just a big bowl. It doesn't have any drainage or anything, and I thought it would be really, really good for like our wallets, our sunglass cases, our keys, just like a catch-all station on our counter. Right now, we have this tiny little bowl, and it just doesn't actually fit all the things we need it to fit so it still looks really messy so I thought that we could go ahead and try this out and see how it works out this was $25 it's open on the bottom as well they also have a bowl that's more of like a V shape instead of it having like this kink in it that goes down and that was $25 as well but it was smaller and I would felt like I would end up in the same position where the bowl just wasn't big enough. So I decided to actually go for the planter and I'm hoping to use it as a little catch-all bowl for our keys, sunglasses, wallets, things like that. I got tons of vases. So I did pick up the entire set of the new bud vases from Hearth and Hand. I love these. I don't think I've actually shown them in a video yet. I didn't find them the days that I went out filming, but I found them now. Ooh, I almost just dropped it, but I found them now and I am absolutely in love with them. So there is this one. I love the lip that it has and this was $5.99 and then I also got this one. It's more of a taupey, cool toned color and I love the lip on here as well. Also $5.99 and then this smaller one. So this is the smallest of the three, just to kind of give you an idea. They're all pretty similar in size, but they're all $5.99. I just love them. I was like only gonna get two and then I just couldn't decide which two I wanted to get because I really love them all and I feel like I can spread them out to different areas of our home if I don't want to put them all in the same place. And I just love them. I feel like they're a really, really good price. I did get one more bud vase and this one is by Threshold. So this is this one. I believe they call it like the artisanal glaze set. I love the striping on here. I just love the look of it. I think it's super pretty. This was $10. And then I did go ahead and get some stems to put in here. I definitely do have lots of stems from last year and last season. Um, so I didn't want to get too many, but I really, really liked some of the new ones that they had. So I did pick up three of these. They're like these mauve brownish colored balls. As we all learned in my last Target Tuesday video or the one before that, I do not know my flowers, so I'm not even gonna pretend like I know what this is. It says, oh, it says it's a thistle, so it's thistle. I just really like it. But then I also got this one, which I absolutely love. This one says it is sedum. I don't know if that's how you say that, but the colors on here are just absolutely perfect for the spring, like the muted pastel pinks, purples, and yellows. I just absolutely love these. I feel like they'll be great for Valentine's Day, the spring in general, Easter time. So I did go ahead and pick up two of these as well, and I just, I love them. The last stem that I picked up was actually a clearance stem. I feel like this was such a good find. It was literally 90 cents. The other ones were all $2.99, by the way, so the three thistle and then the two set them. I don't know. <laughs> If that's how you say it but all of those were $2.99 a piece this was only 90 cents and it's this this little like bushel of this really pretty green plant there is a clearance sticker over what it is but let's see if I can peel it away so it says it is oh I don't know how to say that guy Sophilia so that's what this is it's kind of tied together with this little rope it's so pretty. It looks really, really good in this vase that I got. It looks so good in here. So super excited about that. I feel like that's just an adorable little arrangement. Super easy. And this cost me less than $11 to make. So big fan of that. I did pick up one more vase. Totally different than all the other ones. And it was this big gold one. We have gold accents here in our bedroom. But I am starting to bring them out into our other living areas. My style has changed a lot over the last year, which is driving Brian absolutely crazy because I'm constantly redecorating. That is just the pitfall of working in home decor and constantly looking at home decor as I just feel like my style is constantly evolving. So I'm trying to move towards things that are very neutral, transitional, and can work with a lot of different decor accents to change out and kind of like, I don't know fuel that creative side of me. It's easier to change accents than it is pieces of furniture. So 
Anyways, I'm getting off track, but I picked up this tall gold vase. I just thought it was super pretty, and it was $15 by Threshold. I really like it. I'm trying to bring the gold accents out into the rest of the house, like I said, so starting to pick up little gold items like this that are super easy to decorate with. Sorry if it looks different and I'm in a different position. These two were whining at the door, so I had to go ahead and let them in. The next category of items that I picked up a lot of is throw pillows. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you definitely should. I always post from in the store, more like live in the moment stuff, clearance deals and things like that. So if you're interested in that, you should definitely follow me on Instagram. My handle will be right in the corner. It's just at Katie Vining, so super easy to find me on there. But I was saying how I'm addicted to throw pillows. I don't know if any of you who have seen Bridesmaids. It's a really popular movie, so I'm sure a lot of you have. But there's a quote from, like, the sister about the puppies where she's like, I took nine. I took nine. It's Melissa McCarthy's character. That's how I feel with this throw pillow situation. Oh, my gosh. So basically, when we took all the Christmas stuff off, when I looked at the pillows that I had, a lot of them were just like dirty, dingy, didn't have removable covers, couldn't wash them, got messed up by the dogs. So I wanted to just get some fresh ones. Brian is about ready to leave me over it, so really need to get these out onto the couch and like out of the way so there's like a lot less clutter. And I just love so many of the ones that came out in the new collections. Most of these are Threshold and Studio McGee, so let's just go ahead and get started in showing you all the pillows that I purchased. I think they are all different, but they all kind of go together. At least I'm hoping they will be cohesive and look good together when I put them on the couch. I struggle a lot with throw pillows. Okay, anyways, let me just show you what I got. So the first one I actually wanna show you are actually right behind me. So Studio McGee has a new bedding line that is coming out at Target. You'll definitely be seeing it in an upcoming Target Tuesday, so definitely make sure you are subscribed. These are so pretty. So they are white, but then they have this like antique like tea bag dyed look to them. So if you see some like yellow splotches, that's how it's supposed to be. I'm gonna put it up to the camera so it's gonna be blocking me completely, but this is what it looks like. It just has this really, really pretty flower pattern, and it does have some more, like, ivory tones in there. I just love these. They're a really good size. They're kind of like an awkward size, though. I feel like they're perfect for a king bed or maybe if you're looking for a bigger pillow for your couch. It's not quite as big as a Euro sham, as you can see in the back, but it's definitely bigger than a normal throw pillow. They're just so beautiful, though. I absolutely love them. They do have removable covers, and they are $30 a piece, and I bought two of them. Next up is another pillow that's from her bedding line specifically, and it is this pillow. It's like a really pretty cool toned beige, and then it has this floral embroidery. I'm probably going to go back and buy another one because it perfectly matches the color of our couch, and I just absolutely love these. So this is what it looks like close up if you're interested in seeing what the flower looks like. I just love the color of it. I love the embroidered detail, and I feel like that's a great way to add texture to my couch without adding too much color. You will see, I mean, with all these pillows, not really adding much color, but... It's because I'm afraid! That pillow, by the way, was $22 as well as this one. So this is a new pillow. This was over in the home decor section, not the bedding section. So I think this is just from her normal, like, couch throw pillow line that she always does. It does have a little bit of fringe on the side. I just like the coloring and the striping. It's kind of like a heathered look and it's all embroidered. That one was $22 as well. I try to do different shapes of pillows on our couch, so I did get three pillows that are not square. The next one I absolutely love as well. It does have these little tassels on the side. It has a big gray stripe and then two smaller gray stripes. I just like it. It's enough color, but it's still really bright. It's kind of like an off-white color, but a bright off-white color. This has a removable um, cover as well. I thought this one was going to be more, but it was also only $22, which I feel like is such a steal. So I was really excited about this one. It's nice and squishy, so you could do the pillow chop if you're into the pillow chop. <laughs> Brian is not into the pillow chop, but I am. Let me know down below if you are into the pillow chop, if you're not into the pillow chop, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, let's talk about it. The last square pillow that I picked up is this striped one. This, I think, also has a removable pillow cover. A lot of them do now, which is so, so, so good. So much easier to just take off the covers and wash them. I know a lot of you have had success with just throwing pillows into the wash and then in the dryer and then being fine. I have not had much success with that, so I much prefer pillow covers, especially with three dogs who are all over our furniture. It's basically their house. We just live in it. But I got this pillow. It's again that like bright off-white color, and it still has those stripes, so it's kind of pulling that in. I almost got two of these, but then it felt a little bit farmhousey to me, which I did not want. So I just got one, and I just feel like a lot of these look so pretty together, and I'm really excited about it, and you can see me 
just throwing the pillows over there in the mirror. So that's embarrassing. I'm gonna save my most favorite pillow that I picked up for last. So the next one I picked up, just wanted to add some different texture in that bright white color again. I didn't wanna have too many like drab pillows. So I just got this one. I wanted another lumbar shape as well. This was $25 removable cover, which is great. This one I'd recommend washing inside out for sure. All of them, honestly, if you can, I would just turn them inside out, but I just feel like they last better that way. But with this material specifically, you definitely want to wash it inside out and then dry it on medium heat, not high. Just my recommendation, but I think there are care instructions on the tag. But this was the next one that I picked up, and now I want to show you my favorite pillow that I picked up. So this round pillow that has this scalloping all around it, I absolutely love, love, love. So just to kind of show you, it's just completely yarn woven and then has these really, really cute scallops all around the edge. This was 25 as well. I like to add in like fun shaped pillows. I feel like it really breaks up the monotony of like all the square and rectangle pillows. So I was really excited to find this one and I might pick up a second one of these as well. So those are all of the items I bought from the new line. I do have three items that I got on clearance that go really well with this. Two furniture pieces and then this blanket. So I actually already own this blanket and I have one from last year. That's like a little bit of a different color. It's actually on my dog's bed, but it's more of like a taupey brown color. I just love this. It's really, really soft on the inside and then has this like really like curly Sherpa. Sorry about these tags. <laughs> um, but this was 70% off. I was kind of stocking this in my store for the last like two weeks and finally it went down to 70% off. So I was able to score this for $12. It's not going to go down to 90% off the... Uh, Studio McGee stuff typically doesn't go down to 90. They just salvage it and send it to stores like Daily Deals and those other Target salvage stores that I have shown you in the past. So I was really excited that I was able to get this for 70% off. Like I said, we do already have one, but I might just store this until next year. And I know I'm just going to be so happy to have another one of these. I just love the color, the material. It's a very, very nice, high quality blanket that's going to last you a super long time. So I just wanted to pick up a second one because I have problems. The last two items are clearance furniture finds. So I'm actually going to move over and put a picture. They're just too big for me to put in the frame. But the first one was this bench. I actually scored this for $45, which I was so excited about because I wanted this bench since the moment it came out. I have just loved it the entire time. So I'm really, 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 really excited. I was able to get it down to $45. I went to one Target that I had seen it at the day before, not knowing it was on clearance. When I went back, it was gone. So then I went to another Target that said it was out of stock, but they had it anyways, and it was just dramatic, and I was like shaking. I was so excited, so I'm really excited to have that. It doesn't fit in our apartment right now, but we are planning on moving, like I said, and we want to eventually have it at the end of our bed, so crossing our fingers that our next bedroom is a little bit bigger. And then the next item is a new entryway table. It also could work as a desk, I think, but it is this one. I got this for 70% off as well. Such a steal. I actually found it brand new in the box. I thought that they were all totally gone. I feel like they might have found one in the back. It was already fully assembled too, but totally brand new. And I was really, really excited to find this. I did tell Brian that if we didn't end up using it, I was going to sell it on Facebook Marketplace. But I actually think I'm going to wait until we move, see if it fits in our new entryway. And if not, use it as a desk in my future office that I'm planning on having. So that's what I'm thinking about this because it does have a drawer that comes out. So I feel like it'd be a great desk. I just love how neutral and transitional it is. You can decorate it for any style. And that's kind of, like I said, what I am going for in the future. So those are the two furniture finds that I was able to seek out over the last few weeks. And I'm so so excited about them. But that is everything I bought from the new Target Home Decor collection so far. 100 pillows, blankets, vases, some new plants, and I'm really excited about them. Definitely make sure you are subscribed. I have two decorating videos coming up in the next two or three weeks, kind of showing some spring decor, some Christmas undecorating, fun stuff like that, and Valentine's Day decor. I'm going to add a lot of Mm, I say subtle, but I don't know how subtle they'll actually be. Valentine's Day touches to our home, and I'm going to be doing a video all about that as well. So you're definitely not going to want to miss those videos and all the other exciting things that have coming up on my channel. But that is going to be it for me. If you haven't yet, please, 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 before you go, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below as well as the notification bell so you can be notified every single time I post a new video. But that is going to be it for me. I love you all so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys!